The term Nyangsa refers to an oily seeds tree, Rishinodendron hudeliti, found in tropical West Africa. It is also known as Mungela Angola, Esasong Cameroon, Bofeko Zaire, Wama Ghana, Okuan Nigeria, Kishango Uganda, Akpi Ivory Coast, Jonsing, Esing, Ezizang and Nyusang. Two varieties of the tree species are recognized R. hudeliti var, hudeliti in Ghana and R. hudeliti var, Africanum in Nigeria and westwards. Description The tree is fast growing and reaches a height between 20 and 50 meters with a straight trunk which can have a diameter up to 2.7 meters. Its crown is broad and the roots are big running. The bark is smooth with a gray color. Inside, the bark is red when cut. Nyangsa is a dioecious plant. The flowers are yellowish white, 5 mm long and form a long terminal panicle which measures between 15 and 40 cm. Flowering time is between April and May. Male panicles are larger and slender than female flowers. Nyangsa trees produce a fruit that are typically two or three lobed and contain two cells in which the seeds lie. These seeds are red brown to black, rounded and some one centimeter in diameter. The seeds are oily in texture and can be bought either raw or dried. They have an odor reminiscent of oily chocolate, but their flavor is truly unique, subtly aromatic with a mild bitter aftertaste. At maturity August, September, the fruit smells like overripe apples. <inaudible> Native location Nyangsa is endemic to tropical Africa. The native geographic location of Nyangsa reaches from Senegal in West Africa to Sudan, Uganda, and Tanzania, and from Sudan down to the western coast of Sub-Saharan Africa to Angola. The tree is also found on Madagascar. Nyangsa grows generally in rain forests and is also typical for secondary forests. This tree is a light demanding species. Therefore, it can also be found in deciduous forests, forest edges, secondary scrubs, and thickets in semi dry savannas. The tree is observed in food crop fields, cocoa farms, and other agroforestry systems, where the trees can also intentionally be planted. Uses and benefits <inaudible> Food value The edible parts of the plant are the high nutritive contents of the kernels. The dried and ground kernels are used as a flavoring agent in some dishes in West and Central Africa. The paste of the ground kernels is used to thicken soups and stews. Oil can be obtained from the kernels. Only a small amount of extracted seed oil is carried out. The oil has a yellowish color and tastes similar to groundnut oil. Because of its high content of gametocopherol, the oil is very stable and becomes rancid only slowly. This oil is interesting as cooking oil and margarine. Constituents of seeds Topic. Culinary use. The seeds are usually dried for used as flavoring agent in West and Central African food dishes. The whole seeds are pounded in a pestle and mortar and the paste of ground seed is added as a thickener for soups and stews. The prepared seeds either pounded in a pestle and mortar or the prepared form from markets are steamed and then crumbled into rice as a flavoring. The seed form the spice is also sold in African markets rolled into sausage shapes. Medicinal value The extract from the bark of the tree is used by traditional doctors as an antidote against poison because the extracts are said to contain loophole. It is also used to cure various diseases as cough, malaria, yellow fever, stomach pain, rheumatism etc. Other characteristics are aphrodisiac and anti-inflammatory properties. Seed husk and latex, leaf decoction and sap are also used to treat divers' illnesses. Ecological value Presence of Nyangsa helps to improve soil quality because the roots are colonized by mycorrhizae and because of its natural leaf litter. 
Burned kernel shells deliver potassium-rich ash and the cake remaining after oil extraction from seeds has high nitrogen content. Both products can be used as fertilizer. Nyangsa provides shade for humans, livestock and crops. Leaves can be used as fodder for livestock during dry season. Topic: <inaudible> Industrial uses. Oil obtained from dried kernel and ash from burned wood can be used for soap and varnish production. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Social and historical implications. In southern Cameroon, dried seeds are used for a traditional game called songho. In Sierra Leone they are used for rattles for bundu dances and in Nigeria they are used for a game called akwe. Topic: <laughs> Production. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cultivation area. The main production area of Nyangsa is the humid forest zone of Cameroon. The tree is one of the most common seedlings seen in the more open parts of the forest. Consequently, the species is abundant in new farming clearings. During these clearings, farmers kept trees from this species. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Yields. The kernel is economically the most important part of the tree. They are collected from the ground between September and October. Nyangsa trees yield fruits every two or three years, some trees even every year. Each harvest yields up to 900 fruits and an average of 72 kg of kernels. Cultivars Nyangsa is a new crop and is actively domesticated only since 1995. The knowledge about the genetic diversity is therefore limited. Today, available information about genetic resources is too little that improvements occur by plant breeding. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate and soil requirement. Climatic requirement. Soil requirements. Best germination success can be observed on a mixture of river sand and forest soil with a ratio of 1 to 3. Topic: <inaudible> Cultivation technique. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Propagation. Propagation of nyangsa is possible by seeds, by vegetative propagation or by grafting. The advantage of propagation by seeds is that the tree develops a strong taproot. This is important for the stability of the tree as well as for big exploration zone for water and nutrient uptake. Because Nyangsa is dioecious, it is difficult to identify male and female trees before the reproductive phase. Because of high genetic variability, seeds may have different characteristics compared to the parent plant. Vegetative propagation allows reproducing trees with exactly the same characteristics as the selected female tree. Nyangsa can also be propagated by grafting. A shoot or bud the cyan is united with an already established rootstock. <laughs> <laughs> Field establishment The site should be cleared, especially if the trees are associated with other food crops. Then the young plants can be planted in planting holes separated by 10 meters from each other. Before transplanting the plants, they need to spend at least six months under shade and need a minimal size of 20 to 30 centimeters. After planting, a one meter high fence of palm fronds for shade should be established for the first two weeks. Topic: <laughs> Plant management. Water, the plants need to be watered abundantly after transplanting so that the plant can adapt to the new environment. To avoid high water losses by evaporation, a mulch layer can keep soil moisture, fertilizer, the establishment and development of this fast-growing tree can be improved by supplying it with enough nutrients through mineral fertilizer. Husbandry, as long as the plant is young, weeding is very important to reduce competition for water and nutrients, so that a fast growth and development is possible. 
Pest and disease control, no major disease are observed yet. But Nyangsa can be attacked by herbivores as caterpillars Labobunea fedusa, Imbrasia pediveri, Imbrasia obscura, Imbrasia melanops. These caterpillars are edible and are therefore not treated with chemicals but collected as source of food protein. Aphids can infest plants in nurseries. They are easy to detect because the leaves curl as result of an attack. These aphids can be controlled with a systemic insecticide. Once the trees are in the field for more than two years, treatments are no more necessary because of plant vigor. <laughs> harvest and post-harvest treatment First fruit harvest occurs after six to seven years in forests or after three to four years in managed plantations. The fruits are picked up by hand from the ground once they are ripe enough to drop from the tree September and October. To facilitate harvest, the ground under the tree should be cleared. Once harvested, the fruits are placed on a pile for two to three weeks so that the pulp is rotting faster and the seeds can be extracted easily. Extracting the kernel from the pulp is a time-consuming process because of their hard shape. After boiling them in water, and cooling them down, the kernels are extracted one by one with a knife or nails. Then the kernels are sun or fire dried. Nyangsa is stored as seed or as kernel. If they are well dried, they can be stored up to two years on a dry place. 